In this video, I'm gonna talk about my scripting success stories. I pondered, I pondered, I came across a journal um, today and I opened it and I realized everything on this page had manifested. And I wanted to share my experience and my learning lessons and the mistakes I've made and how you can have a more smooth sailing scripting manifestation experience. And yeah, we're gonna deep dive into all of these little secrets and golden nuggets and how it's gonna help you manifest your dream reality. So without further ado, let's go. Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ella Ringrose, welcome. I'm so glad you are here. So basically today I had already filmed a video and I wasn't gonna film another one and I came across, basically I finished an old journal. If you guys are new to my channel, um, I love journaling. It's a place for me to find my true core essence, just connect with my soul, clear my mind, my thoughts. It truly is something that changed my life and I made it a very habitual thing around three to four years ago now maybe. Wow, that's crazy. Um, I couldn't see my life without it. Journaling is something that changed me and these are all literally full. Um, I was. This is my last journal that I was using. Oh no. Wait, where is it? Okay, it's probably in there. Anyway. Uh, I just finished my last journal today and I was like, okay, I need to go get a new journal. So I realized that my mom gave me a journal um, when I moved back from Ireland. So if you're new to my channel again, I lived in Canada for a year and I moved back to Ireland in July, I believe. Yeah, July, I think. And my mom gave me a journal, like welcome home, like a journal when I came and whatever. Um, but I already had like loads of journals I needed to fill, which I did fill them all. And then I came back to this journal for a week. I used this journal. And I came across it again today because I had to obviously use it because it was it's all literally empty, right? Like there's only a few pages full at the, at the start. And I came across, um, it was weird because I was, I was journaling today, just as usual, writing away. And I just got this, into, it, it, like this inkling to go back to the first page. And so I went back to the first page. Actually, no, it's not the first page, it's the second page. I had written um, manifestations that I wanted to manifest back in July. So it's nearly December now. So July, August, September, October. Yeah, a couple months. Wow, time flies really. Um, and I came across this piece of paper and it had a list of all the things I wanted to manifest. And every single thing on this list manifested. And I always believed in the power of scripting. I always believed it worked but it really was a kind of shiver down my spine because it was this moment where I kind of looked back at my past Ella sitting on a couch writing this all and present Ella looking back at past Ella knowing that she was going to achieve all that she has to this present moment. I saw a video by Life by Lucy, I think that's her name, yeah, she oh, such a cute accent, she's like English, oh my god, I love, I am obsessed with the English accent if you didn't know. Um, and she made a video on um, everything she wrote down came true and I always kind of wanted to do a video like that. And then I realized looking at this on my piece of paper, everything manifested. And so if we go back to all of these journals, I have manifested so much things in my life um, in these journals, but this list, it was just, it was creepy how all of these happened kind of at once. Um, and so I'm gonna read them here. So it said, I manifested 100,000 subscribers. So I wrote it in like the present tense. I wrote, I manifest 100,000 subscribers, which we just did. I manifested 100,000, um, oh, like a $100,000 worth business. Oh my gosh, sorry, my chair. <laughs> I manifested um, a Greek trip. I manifested an apartment. I manifested all of my destiny. I manifested my successful podcast with 100,000 streams. And we're actually at 170,000 streams on the podcast, which is crazy. But I was looking at over all of these and all of them manifested so quickly together, but I set the intention months before, right? And so it made me, it, it was the first time I kind of looked at it and I went, you really have to just respect divine timing. And it was this moment for me where I kind of realized that there's a big thing I want to address when it comes to scripting, which I see a lot of people doing. Also, I'm going to show you it. Don't mind my messy writing in this. And I was also scripting a lot in this journal when I wanted to find an apartment, which I'm also gonna read this one out. Um, this was when I'd moved back to Ireland and I wanted to find an apartment. Yep. I'm so happy and grateful now that I live in my dream apartment. I have a stunning big bedroom with a balcony, so much light. 
an incredible desk setup with a laptop, mic setup, vision board. My desk is gorgeous and a salt lamp. Oh, no, wait, my salt lamp's there. <laughs> um, I say the area, which was, it actually manifested. I wanted to live in this area because I wanted to be near the sea. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm always at the sea. Um, I really wanted that and I wrote, um, my angels are conspiring to make this happen. I'm so excited. My bed, bed is so comfy and white. My salt lamp, desk, mic set up, gorgeous balcony, mirror and makeup floor, organic, gorgeous food, super close to a gym. And the, the apartment actually has a gym, which is incredible. Um, effortlessly to go work out and go on my beautiful walks, which is like my main, this is like the crazy thing. Like the reason I love where I live is because I get to go for walks. Um, the room has so much incredible energy, so much light. Um, an inspiration to create new products, incredible filming spots, um, and just in a perfect location, oil diffuser, incense, salt lamps, gorgeous kitchen with so much light, peppermint, potato salad. <laughs> I started like writing scents. Um, and yeah, it all came true. And I got a beautiful apartment that I'm really, really happy with. And it was this thing where I didn't want to make this video for a while because for so long I was actually not necessarily unhappy in this apartment, but something didn't feel right. And what I've only realized very, very recently was that it wasn't about the external, it was about how I was feeling within and how I felt within was gonna be the factor of how I viewed my environment. And when I first moved in here, how much I did love it, I just had this weird energy feeling that like the energy in this place was like off or just something was wrong. And for the past week, I've never probably been happier in my entire life. I just feel very calm and present. And now I've like fallen in love with my apartment all over again. I love my room. Like I literally don't want to live anywhere else but here. And I didn't realize how much I loved Ireland. I thought at first I wouldn't like it. Now I'm like, I really, really, really like it. Um, and so it was funny because for ages, when I scripted all of this, I kind of was like, okay, but I'm in this apartment and I'm not that like, I don't, something doesn't feel right. And then this week, everything just clicked. It was just like I woke up one day and went, oh my gosh, I'm living my dream. And when that happened, I realized that the scripting, it was real, but it was just me allowing that feeling to come through. And of course, all these other things manifested with my business and podcasts and subscribers and all of this sort of stuff. And it was really just an incredible moment for me. And the tip I kind of want to give you guys is when we write down things that we want to manifest, and you know, I teach this in the 21 day manifestation challenge and all of these things, it's to understand that you have to have deep innate knowing that what it is you, you desire is going to come into fruition and to not be attached to that specific thing. And the biggest common thread I see in the scripting space because one of, my most, one of my most few videos is a scripting video. I get so many comments from people saying, my manifestation isn't happening, when's it coming? Like it still hasn't happened. I've been scripting all of this and all of this. And the doubt is what's blocking that exact thing from coming through. Because if you had no doubt that it was gonna come through, okay, you, had, you, you were just so positive that it was gonna come through. You had this deep innate knowing. You wouldn't be questioning the process. You wouldn't be questioning the divine timing. You would just respectfully be patient because you know it's gonna come into fruition when it's ready and when you are ready to receive it and allow it. And when we desire a scripting manifestation to come into our fruition, we have to be allowing and have knowing that it's gonna come and not be saying, when's it gonna happen? Where is it gonna happen? With who it's gonna happen? Detach from all of that and just have knowing that that end goal will happen. And so with these things, it's crazy because I think the reason they happen so effortless, effort, effortlessly for me was because I completely forgot about it. <laughs> Um, you know, I did write it every day, but I had no attachment to it, really. I wrote it down just knowing it was going to come. I wasn't like, this needs to come because this is where my happiness has lied. Uh, this needs to come where, because if not, like, my life's going to be doomed. No, like, I wasn't coming at it from my ego of fear. I was living in the present moment, and I talk about this a lot, when you need to live in the present moment and do your morning routine with your scripting so you can let the universe know that this is what you desire, but it's to have knowing that it's gonna come and to let it go. And so when I wrote these down in the morning, I would simply then go about my day. Um, like even after here, I wrote practicing presence, the power of presence. I wrote this like right after on the next page. And um, the reason I think I'm able to allow my manifestations to come in very effortlessly is because I'm not questioning when it's gonna come. I'm not 
thinking, when's this going to happen? How's this going to happen? I need this to happen in order for my happiness to be happy. Like I need this to feel worthy. I already know that my core energy is complete and whole as it is. I already know that I am worthy within and that everything I desire with fulfillment comes from within. And when you come at life from that that angle of already being enough and already knowing you are enough and full and your cup is full, that's when your desires are going to flow to you effortlessly because you know you deserve them and you're worthy of them. And so when people are questioning where their manifestation is or where their scripting is, I think it's coming from an underlying energy of that they don't deserve it. And where does the undeserving come from? It comes from the ego. And so the ego is the mind and it'll always be from a fear energy. It'll always be from a sacred, I mean, I'm not a sacred, it'll be coming from a place of fear that and lack. And what you need to do is detach from the mind and practice presence and stillness every day. You've set your intention through your scripting. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to think about it. It's gonna align when you detach from it and you just simply allow it. And this was a big thing I realized for so long, I never let go of my manifestation. I wanted subscribers for, like I wanted a big YouTube channel for four years. And it wasn't until the third year I kind of understood, understood it more clearly that I needed to just let go and know that it was gonna come. And through me letting go and knowing that this was going to come, especially even the, the, the successful podcast, I went to the angle of my podcast of just having so much fun with it because I already knew that no matter what, it was going to get 100,000 streams and actually went way over that. Um, I already knew that that was going to be my life. And so when I went from that core energy of just having a deep innate knowing and removing the ego of doubt and fear and questioning and just knowing I had so much fun with my podcast I completely forgot that I was aiming for towards that even though I was writing it down every day I kind of completely forgot I was just so in immersed in the actual activity of podcasts and then it conspired externally for me because we attract who we are and if we are coming at it from a desperate needy standpoint that we are not enough as we are that's what we're signaling signaling out to the universe that we aren't enough as we are and we need this thing to complete us and so what are you doing? You're trying to pull something in. You're trying to force it in. But when you come at it from the angle of knowing you are worthy, knowing your love, knowing you are unconditional, you are infinite, that you are whole and complete exactly as you are. You don't need these things for happiness. You already can fulfill your happiness from within. When you come at it from that angle, these things are just a byproduct that flow to you. And so the apartment for me, for so long, I sort of thought, well, you know, I was scripting this for ages and it wasn't what I thought it would be. Like, I don't feel right in this apartment. And then when I decided to realize that I am enough as I am and, you know, I create my environment. When I shifted that angle, I started to see my apartment in like this whole different essence of love. Like, I love where I live now, which is crazy because even a week ago, I didn't. I, I was appreciative of, it, appreciative of it, but I was like, oh, I wish I could live here and here. And then when I started to identify, because this is the ego trying to project its happiness into the future and saying it's never enough now. And through manifestation and practicing presence, I literally think this is going to change people's lives forever. Practicing the whole and completeness of your life and being present and being full and complete and in the present and then setting the intentions for the universe and having knowing a deep and knowing it's gonna happen. I just think that is going to create a beautiful world of beautiful souls because they know their worth. And when I look at this list, you know, I don't base my happiness on this anymore. Although you see, these are all quite material things. I don't base my happiness on these. I base it on within and how I'm feeling from within and who, like not who I am, because I feel like that's even identifying like a, like an identity, just my, my present self, how I feel. That's the most important thing for me. And I think that's why my external world can align so effortlessly to these desires. So it's to understand that when you desire something, you have to come at it from the angle of a deep innate knowing. And if doubt creeps in, that is totally okay. I'm not saying, because it's inevitable that doubt will pop in, but then it's to realign with your soul, your soul, your soul's purpose, and know that your soul is getting it all out, uh, under control and everything is going according to plan and everything is perfect. I love that word perfect, because it is, everything is perfect. And so when you're doing your manifestation, you're wanting to script something, you know, release it, just allow it, know that it's going to come, just be so confident that it's going to come and just not be needy, not come at it from a needy standpoint, just come at it from a, this is going to happen and I'm excited for it, but I'm also really enjoying the present moment. And that's an incredible thing that my present self has planted a seed for the future. And that's, what's going to make your life the most incredible. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give a big thumbs up. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. As you guys know, I do have the 21 day manifestation challenge. This is a 21 day manifestation challenge that I've created to help you align with your higher self in 21 days and become a magnetic manifester. We do guided meditations. There's a journaling, a scripting prompts. There's affirmation pillars, a one and a half hour masterclass on manifestation and an incredible Facebook group with over 1000 beautiful souls helping each other manifest. And it's just a beautiful place. Um, if you want to check that out, it's down below. It's only 27 euro. And you guys know my podcast is down below, my Instagram, all that good stuff. But I really appreciate you watching to the end of the video. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next one. Have a blessed day or night.